Hey, Bill here. Okay. Here's the ever-changing landscape of crap. It's actually getting less and less every day as I start moving stuff down to the basement. Got the sander here. The old Hoover upright. And uh, room's about the same. The light has seemed to be steady now. It doesn't flicker. Got to get this monitor maybe tomorrow over to the uh, recycling. But here is what we did today. Oh my goodness, look at that. The fascia here got painted. Some of the floor did too. We just put some brown down here. And uh, sorry. I also, to cover up this ugly gap that was right in here, I made this extra shelf here, this extra panel. It's got a coat of latex primer that didn't entirely dry and then some brown this brown oil based paint which is not entirely dry so I'm kind of pushing it with the oil paint on the floor here it's not you know for floor we really should have well this whole floor in this room needs to be sanded and refinished then again the whole room needs to be demoed and the underfloor needs to be insulated and then the walls need to be insulated and then you could talk about putting a you know a floor down or maybe carpet or electric radiant floor heat. But I also put the fascias on here. Um, I replaced the ones that Dad had, which were quarter inch strapping or strips. These are one by twos, and I painted them, primed them, and painted them today. They're still tacky. And uh, I put this one in here. It's one by two, and I gave them a little chamfer right here, so dress them up a little bit. But it, it's like a reveal, it makes it look more substantial. It Does, doesn't match, you know, over there where it's just quarter inch thick strips. So here's the, you know, on this side here. So it, carpentry is a little bit off, but I don't really care. I'm to the point in this part of the project where I just don't care. <laughs> so you can see that up in here where things, the original um, crown up here, this one by three, I think it is. Dad kind of, well, he notched it in the back there. So it, the new one by fascia, you see it kind of sticks out. It's proud of the original crown. And then the, um, the crown molding is also down lower than the uh, original crown molding on the interior wall there. So it's all three different, three different, uh, pieces of wood all with different ideas of where to go so and I'm just rapidly don't have don't really care anymore <laughs> so I just uh, this is one of these projects where it's got to get done and you know it's it just uh, you know it's like it leaves it doesn't allow you to work on the bathroom you have to work on everything around it you know all the plumbing and all of the support systems and everything and then you can finally get back to the bathroom so the shelves are dry, except for the bottom shelf. I painted the whole bottom shelf again along with the fascia here. So that's what's going on. So it looks pretty good from a distance, just don't get too close. And as my sister and my mother have commented that that's plenty fine. So oh, one more thing. I don't know where it is, but ah, here it is. Okay, today we got this. 9 inch texturizer uh, roller and I hope you can see it here it's got this kind of it's kind of like one of those rough scotch pads but it's in a roller configuration what we want to do is try to emulate the stipple effect here of the uh, you get that um, stipple or um, crackle kind of finish with uh, with the uh, the original plaster lath work and you know when it transitions to the drywall it's smooth so what we want to do is um, I've seen it in videos or in my drywall books you get drywall compound or joint compound I think you thin it with a little bit of water it's very important you get the right amount of water and then you you basically roll the joint compound on here and it will create a hopefully it'll create a kind of stipple effect like like you see with this uh, plaster lath finish from 1928 or 1940 around there all right, well, that's what's going on. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.